Okay, let's do this. So, you know I'm mostly physics guy, uh, and this may seem like math, but that's cool. I mean, I also speak English, even though I'm not an English faculty, so we can still do this. We're going to do it. Okay, so what's a derivative? And, and this is a pretty tough question that probably people will have better answers than me, but I like to still give my own answer. And, and so here I have a, uh, a graph, and this is a function. Uh, this could be a function. Okay, so this actually is the function uh, f of x. Let's say, it, don't worry about the numbers because I'm using something else. Equals, uh, you know, 3x plus 2. So it's a line. And that's not actually the function. I already told you that. So this function says that if I put in an x value, if x equals 1, then f of 1 would be, I put in 1 right there, and I get 3 plus 2 equals 5. So it, it gives me the value on this side for the different x's here. So I put in x's, and it gives me a value right there. Okay, That's the function. What's the slope? Well, what if I pick two points on here? And I find, uh, let's call this uh, f, let's call this x1, and this is x2. So this would be f of x1, and this is f of x2. So what if I did the change in f of x over the change in x? That would be how much it goes up divided by how much it goes over. And that's the slope of this line. What does that actually tell us? So let's write that out. Slope is going to be the change in the vertical, which is going to be f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. That's the slope. This tells us, um, the in, in physics we like to think about this as tells us how fast the function changes with x. So it's a kind of an important thing. And in this case, this is a straight line. If I found the slope for these two points, it'd be the same for those two points. The slope of this line is constant. Okay, but that's slope. Here is another function. And I think I actually printed this. Uh, I think this is f of x equals 3x squared minus 2. Yeah, I had to check. Okay, that's my function. And so what's the slope of this function? Well, let's just pick two points. I'm going to pick this point and this point. If I find uh, they both have an x an, a function value of, of 10, 10, so if I do uh, slope, it's going to be 10 minus 10 divided by the change would over 4. Zero. So the slope of this is zero. So it's not changing, but it is changing. Okay. So what if I did this point right here and that point? Well, in that case, uh, it would not give me a positive a zero slope. It would give me the slope would be the, actually the slope of this line right there. Actually, let's pick this over here. It'd give me the slope of that line. But what's the slope at that point? What's the slope right at that point? That would be this line right here, but it doesn't really have any of these points. What I want to do is to take, if I could let these two points that I use to find the slope become infinitely close together, then I would get the actual slope. And so that's exactly what we are going to do. So let's take two points on this line. I'm going to change colors because I messed this one up so much. Let's take this one right here and this one right here. And so how far, this is uh, at a value of x, any because it could be anything. So this is f of x. And this, and this is going to be x. And this value here is going to be a little bit greater than x. How much more? It's going to be x plus delta x. I'm going to move a distance delta x forward on this graph and find the new function up here. So what would the value up here be? Will this be f of x plus delta x. And then I'm going to take the limit as delta x goes to 0. So let's write out the slope equation. Slope is going to be the change in the vertical. So it's going to be this f of x plus delta x minus 
that one, f of x, over the change in the horizontal, which is this value, x plus delta x minus x. And that's just going to be f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x, because these things cancel. And so the actual derivative, we'll call, we call this f prime of x, is going to be equal to the limit as delta x goes to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. And that's your formal definition of the derivative. And I'm going to show you how to do this without using this, but it's important that you realize this is just the slope formula for two points that are really close together as those two points get closer and closer together. Delta x is just a thing, right? It's just, an, it's just a variable. You can think of it as a variable. You know, I could put in f of delta x. I could put in f of 3. I could put in f of smiley face. You know, that function, I can put anything in there. It's not delta times x. It's delta x. It's one thing. Okay, let's use this definition and that function and find the slope uh, for this. So let's do it. Okay, so let's start over. Here's f of x. 3x squared minus 2. So now I want to say f prime of x is going to be the limit as delta x goes to 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So let's say limit as delta x goes to 0. So what's f of x plus delta x? I'm just going to put in x plus delta x every place I see x. So I get 3x plus delta x squared minus 2. That's, that's this. Now I'm going to subtract off this function minus 3x squared minus 2. All of that divided by delta x. So the, the first thing you want to do when you have a situation like this is to put in delta x. If I put in delta x is 0, I get I get something I get zero on the bottom and that's not good. So we're going to need to do a little algebra algebraic actually I meant algebraic uh, manipulation to get this to work. So let's go ahead and just multiply this whole thing out on the front uh, top up here. So I get the limit as delta x goes to zero. So I'm going to get I'm going to do this in in one step because I'm awesome, uh, but you should not. So this is going to be uh, x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared, and then all of that multiplied by 3. So I get 3x squared plus 2x delta x times 3 is 6x delta x, and then delta x squared times 3. And then I have the minus 2. And then I need over here, I can just distribute this in. I don't have to do anything, but I go minus 3x squared plus 2. All of that over delta x. Okay, so now I feel like I did something wrong here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I, okay, I see where my problem is. So I, I was getting a little worried there. Now I, I do get some cancel, cancellations here. So I have a 3x squared, I have a minus 3x squared. I have a uh, minus 2, and I have a plus 2. So, and then everything here has a delta x in it. So I can divide both of these terms by delta x, and I get equals the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 6x plus 3 delta x. Now I can put in delta x equals 0, and I get 6x. And that's it. That's f prime of x. Now let me show you that. I did it. This is what that would look like. So this is f of x, and this is f prime of x. So the slope is changing and increasing. Right here, look, I have a negative slope, and that's why f prime of x is negative. Right here, what's the slope? It's 0. And you'll notice right there, the, the derivative crosses the line 0 right there. And then I have a positive slope, and the slope is increasing. This is the slope of this line 
the, the function of this line tells you the slope of that line, and it shows that it's increasing. So there you go. That's the derivative. Um, I'm actually going to do another video to show you how to make these graphs and to show you how to do a numerical derivative. Okay, And that's going to be kind of cool. So I'll see you in the next video, and I'll do another derivative video just for fun.